Good morning, everybody. How are you today? I am doing great. I'm doing great this morning. Um, thank you for asking. So today is a very, very, very busy day for me. I um, am out early. It's 923. I would have been out a lot earlier, but my son's girlfriend came to pick up Jax because he goes to school. Um, her dad is training him. And so she came and got him super early today. So, which is nice because he'll be home later. Um, so right now I'm sitting outside the 99 cent store. Um, I have my massive grocery list for Thanksgiving and I'm trying to do things um, strategically. And you know, I'm, I have quite a few stores that I need to go to. Um, the bulk of my um, grocery haul today will be from Winco, but I have to go. I need to come in here and then I need to I need to go to Winco, Walmart, Sam's Club, and Costco today. Yeah, I got to do all of that today. Unless I can get everything that I need from Sam's at Costco, that would be great. But I don't know, we'll see what happens. We will see. I'm gonna do my best to get everything done today. And I might make a trip over to the Dollar Tree. I do wanna make a wreath um, and everything I need is from there. So that will probably be another video. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get today started. I will see you guys in a minute. Oh, and also too, I'm gonna to try and film as much as I can in the stores because I do get asked sometimes, you know, hey, can you film in the stores and that. A lot of times I don't do it only because it's always freaking busy and I just, you know, people are staring and they're like, you're in my way. And so it's just like, okay, let me just get through this. So I will do my best to film inside. I will try my hardest. Okay. I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye. So I made it into the 99 cent store and they have the cutest, cutest decorations, you guys. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. Like, look how pretty this is. And this is only three bucks. And then you have this one down here that says Joy. Oh my God, I want this for my tree. Oh, should I buy one? See, I came in here for some certain things and of course I get distracted and I just want to buy all the things Christmas. This is so cute. I'm gonna keep going. I can't. I can't do it. You guys, look at all the pretty snowflake ornaments and this is just so cute. I absolutely love this. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty these are. And these are only 99 cents. I really want to get a couple, but they don't match my tree, so I'm not going to do it. And so this is why I like to come to the 99 cent store when I'm trying to get all my baking stuff. Um, they have a huge variety of baking stuff that you can purchase here. And majority of it is 99 cents. There are a few things that are like $1.99, like this um, sugar is $2.49. But if you are on a really big budget and you need some baking items and you have a 99 cent store around you, you need to come and 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 look here first. There are some things that you could probably get a little bit cheaper at maybe like Walmart or Aldi or something. But if you know, if you have one of these stores and this is close to you, come here and look at all the baking stuff that they have. So I am gonna grab this because I, I'm out. So I needed some baking powder. And then, um, I mean like, look at over here you guys, condiments, everything, everything. I mean, it's great. They have Mexican vanilla. Look at all these colors that they have and all the sugar sprinkles. I do purchase sugar sprinkles here. I have several different ones of these. I mean, dude, they're only a buck. So you can't get wrong or you can't go wrong when you see this stuff. This, we use this stuff at work for a cookie we had last week. It's so good, you guys. It is so freaking good. Um, but yeah, they have evaporated milk. And I came here because... Um, 
they had the sweetened condensed milk for a while and I was buying it. I do have cans at home. I just wanted to see if they had any more, but they don't have none. So, um, and here's another thing too that you can come here for. Spices, you guys, look at, I mean, come on. Look at all the spices that they had. I just grabbed the ground ginger and the ground cloves. Um, I'm, I can't remember if I had any ground ginger, but I grabbed it anyways. It's only 99 cents. I was hoping to see maybe some pumpkin pie spice here, but I don't see any. So I will get that at Winco today. So I just got here to Costco. It's uh, 9.48 in the morning and the line is wrapped around the building. Yes. Oh, and there's not a lot. Of, I'm parked far. There's the parking is crazy, but I'm going to go in there because I have to go in there. Sorry for the glare. It's the sun. Um, so I'm just going to go and get it over with. I'm trying to like make a loop around the area I live in. So yeah, I'm so glad I got out early. I mean, I could have been out earlier, but it's okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go in and wish me luck. And I'm walking all the way down here. Just to get in line. Okay, so I finally made it in. And it was super busy up in the front, but it's a little, little empty back here. So I'm just gonna get what I need and I'm gonna head out the store because it's bonkers up in here. Okay, so the gain here is $17.89, but at Sam's Club, it's like 14 something. So I am going to Sam's Club, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this up there. Yeah. That's a pretty good price on the Arm & Hammer, but um, we've switched over to gain. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and pick this up at Sam's Club. So I made it out of Costco. And I got everything that I needed from there. So I'm going to go ahead and head on over to um, Winco. That's where I'm going to do the bulk of my shopping. And I have to get my turkey. So I will see you guys in a little while. Bye. And my basket is full. I'll show you guys everything that I got when I get home. Okay, everyone. So I am now at Sam's Club. Um, I just finished at Winco and I just need to pick up a couple things from here and then I'm going to head home and then um, I will show you guys everything that I got today. They have some really pretty Christmas trees here. Um, this one's only $300 and it's a nine foot tree. Oh my God. This tree is so pretty. And then they also have um, the smaller trees over here. Um, this one is 129 and um, it's a skinny tall tree this one is seven foot and then this one is 199 and this is also a seven foot tree i purchased my tree here last year but mine is white you guys will see that um and i love my tree i think i paid like around 200 bucks with tax and everything on it but yeah i absolutely love it and look how pretty these ones are i would love to put this by my front door that is so pretty and that one is a hundred dollars Okay, so I'm here to get laundry soap. And like I said before, we changed to gain. See, look at here right now at Sounds Club is $14.98 for the gain, which is amazing. It's the exact same one that they have at um, Costco. And Costco's was $17, I believe it was. Yeah, absolute steal. If you have a Sounds Club card, you gotta come here and get it. And then I'm also going to pick up the Gain Fireworks. Um, this one is only $13.98. And this is really good. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to pick up one of these. I'm bummed right now. They sold out on the paper plates that I wanted. Oh, I should have just grabbed them yesterday. And I didn't. And the ones that they have are not the ones that I want. But I might just end up getting them. So these are the only ones they have. And they're Christmas ones, which is no big deal. These ones are on sale for eight for nine seventy six. Um, if you do do the scan and go, that is only eight dollars and seventy six cents, which I should do. I don't know why I haven't. And you get, um, I think it's a hundred in here, ninety. You get ninety plates. 
Man, Sam's Club is toys galore. I mean, you got bikes. I mean, look at all these toys and they're pretty good prices. Wow, they have a lot here. Costco doesn't have a lot right now. I, But Sam's Club, look at that, all the way down. That's a lot. Well, hello everybody. I am finally back home. Um, I left the house at like 9.30, I think. And um, it's already gonna be one o'clock. I ended up, I went to the 99 cent store. I went to Costco, Winco, and Sam's Club. And I stopped in at Target really quick just to grab one item. Um, but uh, I spent a little over $300. I will put the total at the end of the video um, once I gather all my receipts. I will try my hardest to put the prices on there, but there's so much stuff here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it or not. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with all the non-food stuff. So I went to, right here, I went to Winco, Costco, and Sam's. Um, when I went to Costco, this is what I originally went for, was the parchment and the Reynolds wrap. Um, I had a very little parchment paper left and this was on sale for 10 something. And that's a really, really good price for the amount uh, that you get. Each um, thing is 250 feet, which is great. This is gonna last me a long time, but I am definitely gonna be using this throughout the holidays and then some. So this was a great purchase. Um, at Sam's Club, it was like 13 something. So Costco has these on sale, super cheap. And it, I mean, it's a steal you can't you cannot want to buy it so then i also got the heavy duty reynolds wrap um each roll is 150 feet um i've said it before reynolds wrap is the only foil that i will use i absolutely love it and the he um the heavy duty one is what i like to use for my turkey um this will last me a while this was 10 something too on sale, which was great because everywhere else it's expensive and it comes with two big rolls. And then at Winco, I bought the jumbo um, hefty um, storage um, slider bags. Um, I bought these for um, leftovers for, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna cube up all my bread and toast it. And then I'm gonna put it all in one big bag. That way it will be ready for next week. I'm just gonna put it away and it will be ready to go for next week. And then I also got another regular thing of storage um, gallon bags. I needed some more of these. I was kind of low, so I grabbed those two. And then from Sam's Club, I picked up the, the big gain um, fireworks. I showed you guys this, guys this when I was at the store. Um, I picked up one of these and then I also picked up the Gain laundry detergent. It is 146 loads and I love it. So I went ahead and picked that up. So the paper plates. Yesterday I had went to Sounds Club with my daughter and they had the Thanksgiving paper plates. There were eight something for 55, I think it was. I think it's 55. Yeah. Well, I went today and they were out. They didn't have them. I had saw the smaller round Christmas ones and I was like, dang, I really don't want the small ones because the kids like the big plates because of course they can add more to their plate. Um, then as I, I was walking down the aisle, I saw these ones. So I just picked them up. They are Christmas, but it's okay. It's no big deal. They're just gonna eat off of them. So I went ahead and picked these ones up. And then when I was at the 99 cent store, they had um, some Pantene shampoo and conditioner. I picked this up. Um, I have shampoo and conditioner, but this is just extra. You know, I'd like to just put it in my cupboard and if I need it for any reason, I will use it. So I got this shampoo uh, for $2.99 and then I got this conditioner for $2.99. You can't beat that, especially if it's Pantene. So I went ahead and picked up those two bottles. And then I ran into Target because I had forgot to get me some body wash. So I just picked up this one. Um, I usually get my body wash at Sam's Club, but I I forgot. So um, I went ahead and just picked this one up. And then way back here, I bought the three pack of the Clorox bleach. We've been out of bleach for a while and I like to clean with it and um, you know laundry with it. And that's so I picked up this big one. I got this at Costco's 13 something, but it's the same price at Sam's Club too. They're both have the same price for that. 
And then I picked up three two liters of 7-Up. This is for a holiday punch that I'm gonna be making. It's a cranberry 7-Up punch that I make. I made it last year for Thanksgiving and everybody liked it. So I'm gonna make this again. And then I also picked up two bottles of wine. These are for my husband. I picked up a, a Yellowtail Shiraz Cabernet. Um, these are for Thanksgiving, so hopefully he doesn't drink them by then, but well, I don't know, we'll see. So I got him this one, and then I also got him the Yellowtail Merlot. Um, he likes these wines, they're not super expensive, so um, I picked those two up. And then at Costco, I got this big bag of chocolate chips. These were $7.99 on sale, which is great. It's four and a half pounds. I'm gonna pour it all into my container. I've been out of chocolate chips for a while. So I'm gonna put it all into my container and then um, that way, you know, for next week, I'm, I'll be making chocolate chip cookies. And then I picked up a thing of Pam baking spray. I've been out of this for a while and um, I needed some, so I got some of this. I also picked up um, the Smucker's Caramel Flavor Topping. I use this for my walnut caramel cheesecake. So um, you guys will be seeing me making that. And then at the 99 cent store, I picked up a thing of Pure Ground Clothes. And then I picked up a thing of Pure Ground Nutmeg. This is a really good size bottle, one, um, one and a half ounces um, for a buck. Like you can't go wrong with that. And then I picked up a thing of Hershey's Cocoa. I was completely out of this too, and I needed some more. I'm gonna make chocolate cupcakes next week for the boys, so I needed some of that. And then back here, I picked up the 100% cranberry juice. This is for the, um, the, um, the holiday punch that I'm gonna be making. And then over here, I picked up two things of light brown sugar. Um, I didn't know how much brown sugar I had already, but I'm gonna, I, you know, I'm gonna make sure everything is full for next week because I'm gonna be using a lot of, you know, sugars and baking stuff for next week. So, and then I picked up a thing of baking powder. I also picked up a one thing of light um, corn syrup. This is for um, uh, my pecan pie. And then I picked up two things of the roasted turkey gravy. Um, this is the Heinz one. You guys, I don't ever make my own gravy and I would love to one day learn how to make it. Um, I do see a lot of people make it with the drippings from the turkey or, you know, they roast, uh, you know, the legs or whatever. But the drippings from the turkey, honestly, I use that for my stuffing. So a lot of times I don't have extra drippings for that. Um, yeah, I don't use... Um, what is it, chicken stock or anything like that for my stuffing. I use the drippings from the turkey for my stuffing. It tastes amazing and I absolutely love it. And then I also picked up two things of the traditional Mrs. Cubbinson stuffing season. Um, I picked up two because if I remember correctly, there's one bag in here, but I need two bags. So, cause I make a lot of stuffing because a lot of people like it. So I picked up two of those. And then I picked up two of these Jiffy cornbreads, sorry. Um, this is the honey one. This is all they had, but I picked up two of those. I am going to be making a corn casserole, so I needed that. And then I also picked up two cans of the golden sweet corn and two cans of um, the cream corn. Um, these are all for the um, corn casserole. And then I did pick up one more thing up here, canola. I'm out of canola oil, so I picked that up. I also picked up one gallon of milk. I picked up this big thing of garlic from Costco because we were out. And then I also picked up, um, I got a half pound. I don't even know how much I paid for this. I should have looked, but I got a half pound of pecans. This is for the pecan pie. Um, but then I forgot that I needed pecans for the current, um, sweet potatoes but I might not use um, pecans so I don't know we'll see how that goes but I got that and then back here I picked up a big bag of walnuts this is um, some of it's gonna be for um, the um, walnut caramel cheesecake that I'm making um, and I'm also gonna probably use some for uh, chocolate chip cookies sorry guys this is a lot um, for some chocolate chip cookies too. I'm gonna do some with and without. 
And then I picked up this thing of eggnog. I seen it at Costco and I've been checking them out. And so I picked up some eggnog. I'm gonna have some eggnog later tonight once I put it in the refrigerator and it's nice and chilled. I also picked up one big thing of Velveeta cheese for macaroni and cheese next week. I picked up two of the ready-use pie crusts. I don't make my own pie crust and I should, but I don't. Um, so I picked up two of those. There's two in each one. This is, this is for the pies that I'll be making. And then I just picked up two white um, round top Winco breads. I don't normally ever buy this bread, but this is for the stuffing. So it's honestly not a big deal um, what kind of bread I use. So this is what I'm gonna be using for the stuffing. I'll probably, I might only use one loaf. So I know I'm gonna have my grandkids. So the other loaf, they'll probably eat that with sandwiches. And then I picked up one thing of 24 eggs. This is for all my baking next week. I did buy um, two 18 packs of eggs, but that's for the house. But this one is for all the baking that I'm gonna be doing for next week. And then I picked one big thing of sour cream. This is for all my baking too. This is for the corn casserole and the cheesecakes that I make. And I also picked up eight things of cream cheese. They're all eight ounces each. I am making three um, cheesecakes and then one pack is gonna be for um, the cranberry salsa that I'm making. I also picked up this big two pound pack of sharp cheddar cheese. Um, this is for the macaroni and cheese. And then I picked up um, a four pack of butter. I do believe that I might have to go back and get more butter. I'm not sure though. Um, I'm trying to make sure that I have enough butter for everything, but I think I'm gonna end up going to pick up more because I am gonna run out because I need some for the turkey, um, cookies, yeah, uh, I, I need it for a lot of stuff. So I didn't calculate that right, but that's what that's gonna be for. And then over here, I did pick up my coffee. We ran out this morning, you guys. Like, we never run out of coffee, but we, we ran out. I mean, we have Keurig cups, but I love my Kirkland coffee. And you guys, this thing was $14. It went from nine, 10 bucks to 14. It's absolutely outrageous. But, you know, I gotta have my coffee. So, that's everything on the table. You guys, I have an eight foot table. Look at that, everything on there. Now let's go into the kitchen and um, see what I have in there. All right, you guys. So, I bought another thing of bananas for the house. Um, these are just for us. We eat a lot of bananas here, so I bought another one. I also picked up this big thing of green beans. Um, we are gonna have mushroom and green beans for um, Thanksgiving. I did not buy the mushrooms right now because I am kind of worried that they're gonna go bad. So I'm gonna wait till next week. I'll probably wait till Wednesday and get the mushrooms then. Um, then I also picked up some sweet potatoes. I got four, not everybody in my house eats sweet potatoes, so I, I just make a small eight by eight pan of um, sweet potatoes. So I got that. And then I got a bag of golden potatoes. These, this is for um, mashed potatoes. I also picked up two, four, six, wait, two. I picked up six humongous um, Granny Smith apples. Um, this is for the apple pie. And I picked up three jalapenos. This is for the um, cranberry salsa. I'm not gonna use all of them, but I'll probably use two for it. And then I picked up one thing of celery. I do have more celery in the refrigerator. Um, I am going to chop up all my celery and all of my um, onion, and I'm gonna put it in the freezer. That way it's ready to go for next week. And then over here, I picked up three bags of cranberries. Um, I am going to be making my cranberry sauce too, super early, that way it's done and I don't have to worry about making it ahead of time. So I got one thing for cranberry sauce, one thing for the holiday punch, and another one is for the cranberry salsa. And then I got this big bag of oranges. I'm not gonna use all the oranges, I think I only need like maybe three, the rest of them um, will be for the house. And then I got some big bunches of collard greens. Um, 
we make greens during the holidays while well, my husband usually does but um i think i'm gonna probably make them this year um so i got that the only thing i didn't get was the ham hock i forgot about that dang it i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to write that down so when i know i have to go back again i'll grab it i also picked up two of these poultry blends um um herbs for the turkey um it has rosemary sage and thyme in it um these are only two bucks at winco so i picked up two of them i'm not sure if i'm going to use them both but i picked up two just in case and then i got this big bag of frozen corn i also picked up one bag of sugar and one bag of flour and then i got two things of bacon you guys bacon is so outrageously priced like i hate it these were like four something each and I'm like, dang, but I need one for the mac and cheese and the other one um, for the green beans and mushrooms. So I needed that. And last but not least, I got the big old bird here. He is 20 pounds, 20 pounds. Yeah, he's 20 pounds. The original price on this was $31.95. I got it for free. I spent $100 at Winco and I got my turkey for free. So that was absolutely perfect. And he's 20 pounds. I did want a bigger one, but the guy there was saying that 20 pounds is like the average size they've been seeing a lot this year. So I'm happy with the 20 pound. That's going to feed my kids and they're going to be happy with that. So that is going to do it for this grocery haul. So that's it. I'm done. I'm done with the grocery haul. There are a couple few small items that I did not pick up that I will pick up probably next week. Um, no big deal. I'm not really concerned about it. Um, but I think I did pretty good. Um, I did go over some, but I also bought like a lot of non-food. So that's okay. It was worth it. Um, so I am going to go ahead and organize everything, put everything away where it needs to be, and um, be done with everything for next week. So I hope you guys have a good day, stay safe out there, and I will see you guys in a little, in the next video. Bye. I did it. I fit everything in the refrigerator. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> it just makes me laugh. <laughs>